Hi folks, this is a Permobil F3 power chair, fully loaded, five electrical function. This chair has 15 miles, it was used less than a month, literally brand new as you can see. Uh, the color is a teal green, blue, whatever color you call this, um, light blue I would say maybe. So 15 miles, it has five function, it has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet, and it also has the interior tilt. So you can work all the function on this chair through the joystick, of course. You can also do it through the switch box. I like to use a switch box, it's quicker for me doing a video. The first button, if I push it down, you'll see the seat lift starting to go up. So the seat lift will start at 22 when you're down, and if you add your 12, you'll be at 34. You'll be eye level, with, so if you're driving this chair and talking to someone, you'll be eye level when the seat is elevated all the way up to the top. This is nice because you can do your dishes from the side, you can grab stuff off the second, third cabinet, and you can also drive the chair with the seat elevator. As you can see right here, the chair will still drive with the seat elevator. Let's look at the base while we're at it. So this is a front wheel drive chair. What that means, the drive wheel is not in the middle, it's in the front. So when it's in the front, there's no other wheel on the ground. This is just a tip wheel. There's no wheel in the ground. So all the weight of the chair is transferred here, and the chair weighs 425 pounds. So if you have a 200 pound person, 425, that's 625 pounds transferred right here. It gives you good traction when you're outside. And the ride is gonna be super because you have a shock here and you have one here and you can see if I push down, you'll see this shock right here for this fork. You'll see the fork. You see the fork, okay? Because of the weight of the chair and you have four of these, two on each side, the ride is gonna be so smooth, folks, okay? This chair also has an anchor point here and here. You can't see it in the video, but this is where you secure your chair if you're going to transport it. It's inside of here. You have four of those around the chair. You also have a motor for each wheel. You can't see the motor because it's behind the little plastic fender here, but you can see the neutral lever right here. So there's a motor for each wheel. This motor, folks, is connected directly to the hub. There's no chain, no belt, so it's very dependable. Uh, very quiet. Now, if I want to push the chair, I can't push it, but it's in gear. If you had an issue, hopefully you'll never have an issue, but if you have an issue, all you have to do is turn the power off. The reason you want the power off, these are electric motors, so you want no resistance in the motor. Power off, you see that lever? Push it down, and now you're in neutral. You have to do both motors on both sides, and then you can roll the chair wherever you want to roll it. When you're done, always put it back in gear, okay? You can see the armature here for the seat lift. Um, you can see how well constructed this is. Of course, this is a perma build. It's the highest quality you can get. This is the top of the line in power chairs. Now I'm gonna show you something else that's pretty neat about this chair. I'm gonna bring the seat down a little bit. Let's just say right here. And I'm gonna bring the legs all the way in. So you see the feet are coming back in. And I'm gonna, what I'm doing is I'm gonna raise these foot plates up. So some of you are still able to get out of your chair, pivot, or get to your seating system. So if you if you're still able to get out, this just makes it easier to get out. Remember I said it had the interior tilt. So if I push the second button down, watch the back, you'll see the whole seat tilt forward. You see it? This is called the interior tilt. So folks, so if you're in your chair and you're trying to get out of your chair, folks, you're pretty much walking away if you're able. So this helps you get out instead of having to seat all the way down, trying to push yourself up. This gets you out of the chair with no problems. So I'm gonna bring the interior tilt back down so you can see when it gets back to level. I'm gonna bring the seat lift down. I'm gonna put the foot plates back down. So the next function I'm going to show is called the electric tilt. So the electric tilt is when the base right here goes back. So when this base goes back, it's going to take the leg and the, and the back because they're all connected. This is good if you want to relieve pressure off your bottom, pressure off your back. So it has a lot of good medical benefit. You can also get circulation in your legs. Next one I'm going to show is the feet. Now remember folks, this chair is fully adjustable. So if you're five feet tall or six foot two, 100 pounds, 280 pounds, 
we can adjust this whole chair we can change the seating railing we can change the cushion we can make everything bigger larger deeper we can do all that right here this is a little extreme but I wanted to show you how far up you can get your legs but if you're only halfway tilted let me bring the seat down a little bit let's just say right here your feet are still going to be higher than your body so we've done four electrical functions so far the last one is called the electric recline this is the back right here going back by itself so nothing's moving but the back going back so I'm going to go back over here so you can see it so it's almost all the way back so it's not flat but it's almost flat this is as far as it'll go so if you're lay laying in this chair this would be the, the laying position down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the back back up and I'm going to bring the legs back down at the same time so I'm doing two buttons at once right here but you can do that through the joystick right here if you want to when you're outside I would recommend you leave those legs out a little bit to give you a little more clearance under the under the foot plate this one's got plenty of clearance there we go but back a little bit more okay so let's look at the seat on this chair so the seat on this chair is 20 by 20 as I said it doesn't really matter because we can adjust these cushion you can pull the cushion off and put another cushion on here the arms do flip up like I said earlier the, this is a swing away joystick so the joystick was here so this enables you to get a lot closer to a dining table without having to raise your arm or damage your joystick okay if you're left-handed we can put the joystick on that side and it'll swing to the left the arms are clawed arms so you're not going to sweat these are nice they're not that uh, vinyl where you, the bottom of your arm gets wet these are clawed then you're not going to sweat on those this is a contoured back so it keeps you you can't see over there but it's about three or four inches deeper than the sides so it keeps you in the middle the headrest is a big headrest fully adjustable headrest let me show you this is a big headrest you can see it's it's probably 12 inches to 14 inches wide so it's bigger than normal you can see all the adjustments over here to adjust well it's not quite tight but you can see how it moves you have a bag hooks right here so if you want to carry a bag groceries we also have a backpack that can go back here a permobile pack that's available we have a few left over so if you want one of those give us a call they hook up right here and it's a hard pack with a zipper okay you can carry your charger in here your purse um, whatever you need to do on the back of the chair right here is your reset button your breaker there's a breaker switch right here but you can't see it because it's under here where my hands so if you see my hands you got to go here and you can hear me switch it what I just turn the power off no more power so when you get the chair we'll probably have a note here say but you have to go inside up and then it's kind of hard I've had people call me back tell me it's hard. it is hard but if you have good fingers now the power is back on and you have to turn the power back on up front over here when you turn it off over there it turns off the front one I want to show you how this chair turns on itself so if you're in the house this is your turning radius in your house so if you look at this room it's a 12 by 12 room that's your turning radius quite you can't even hear the chair when you charge the batteries on this chair you'll take your permobil charger we're going to use this charger for example this may not be the charger with this chair but we'll use it plug this in here and as soon as the light goes to full the charger will stop charging when the batteries are full these are smart chargers you don't have to worry about them if you plug them in you can just walk away when the batteries are full the charger will stop charging so I don't think I forgot anything so let's recap this is a Permobil F3 15 miles on this chair it has five function 12 inch seat lift electric tilt electric recline electric feet and it has the interior tilt five functions it has the swing away joystick of course the flip up arm it has the 20 by 20 seat the safety belt right here the contoured back the extra large headrest 
the bag hooks, the solid tire, which are not going to mark your floor, the suspension, and of course, this is the Rolex of power chair. This is a Permobil F3 with 15 miles ready to go. All right, so this is the Permobil F3 power chair. This Permobil has a top speed of 6.2 miles an hour. It's like riding on air on this power chair. And when you stop, when you let the joystick go, it stops automatically because it has built-in brakes in the motor. And also you can use the joystick as a gas pedal. So there's, there's, uh, there's two or three speeds on here, but if you want to use the joystick and just push it a little bit like this, you're barely moving, see that? So you can use it as a gas pedal or reduce the speed through here. As you can see, it has no problem in the grass. A little bumpy. My grass is very bumpy, but uh, because it's a front wheel drive, you're gonna have all kinds of traction, so it's really good for the grass. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna elevate the seat. You can see the seat going up right now, and I wanna show you how, what it looks like with the seat elevated, driving the chair. Uh, of course, when the seat's elevated, it's going to be at a reduced speed. If you're going to drive the chair with the seat elevated, do it on a really, really flat surface. Um, they are nice chairs, but anything can break. So we got the seat elevated. Remember, this chair has 15, 15 miles on it. It has five electrical function. I think the seat is all the way up. Let me sit back square. So this one here is 1.25 miles an hour, the seat elevated. Let me bring the seat down a little bit. So it's still 1.2 miles an hour, the seat elevated. So it's a reduced speed. So, it's, so if you have this chair and you're, you're driving with someone with the seat elevated, you'll be eye level. I uh, remember it's got the anchor point, the solid tires, the 20 by 20 seat. This whole chair, folks, is adjustable to your needs. Whatever you need, we have it here. So give us a call. We'll be glad to help you out. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800 677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.